President of Ghana has commissioned the Kia Automobile Assembly Plant in Ghana, urging the vehicle manufacturer to work towards making their products affordable to the local consumer. The company was set up by Rana Motors Limited, a local licensed dealer for the South Korean automobile company. The plant, situated in Accra, Ghana, will assemble various Kia brands for Ghana and the West African markets. The president of Ghana said the Kia vehicle plant opening was a significant boost for Ghana's industrial transformation agenda. He said the development would enable Ghana to achieve its vision to make the country a fully integrated and competitive industrialized hub of the automotive industry in West Africa. The establishment of the plant had been made possible by the conscious initiative of the country to attract investment in the automotive sector under the Ghana Automotive Development Policy initiated by the Government of Ghana. The President of Ghana said the government would pursue policies that would stimulate patronage of locally assembled vehicles. Kia is the fourth largest automaker in the world. The company joins several international automakers that have already established assembly operations in Ghana, including Toyota, Suzuki, Nissan, Volkswagen, Peugeot, Sinotruck, and Ghana's brand Kandanka. The president stated that the government was creating regulations to allow ordinary citizens to purchase locally produced vehicles, noting that demand for assembly vehicles was a crucial element for maximizing the potential of the automotive industry. He also said he had directed the chief of staff at the office of the president, prioritizing the procurement of domestically assembled vehicles by state institutions to fulfill the government's commitment to patronizing made-in-Ghana products. He continued to encourage Ghanaians and Africans to purchase sufficient numbers of vehicles to be produced from the assembly plants, as the state alone cannot purchase all the vehicles to be produced in Ghana. The president of Ghana further disclosed that the country would soon roll out an asset-based vehicle financing scheme, as pertained in other developed countries, to stimulate the demand for domestically assembled vehicles. The government of Ghana has shown commitment by implementing the zero rating of VAT on the sale of domestically assembled vehicles. This means there is no VAT on the sale of domestically produced vehicles, even to the end user, to make domestically assembled vehicles affordable. The government of Ghana has tasked the finance minister to submit to parliament the required legislative instruction proposing the implementation start date of the Customs Amendment Act 2020. The implementation of those outstanding provisions would trigger the full implementation of the Ghana Automotive Development Policy and drive further investment into the vehicle industry. The Trade and Industry Minister in Ghana would soon submit to Cabinet for approval the Ghana Automotive Component Manufacturing Policy, outlining incentives to attract investors into the component manufacturing sector. The policy would also support the country's artisans to upgrade their capacity to fit in the automotive industry. The president said the incentives granted to Rana Motors producers of Kia vehicles would translate into competitive pricing of vehicles for the Ghanaian consumer. What do you think about our video? Let me know in the comment section below. If you enjoy this video and want to hear from me again, hit the subscribe button before you go. Thank you for watching.